What's going on guys? Uncle Luke here back today for another video and hey surprise surprise I'm back and as you can tell by the title it was a prediction video. It's not a news video or a um Telling you how I am anything like that. Although I would want you to stay for some news at the end of the video And I was also going to tell you maybe how I am and stuff But yeah, there is some news at the end of the video so for my prediction video today, it is BYU. Let's get out of the way. And here we go. And okay, here we go. So as you know, if you don't know what um I do with my predictions. Oh, one thing about my I'm not uploading it today. Or I if you remember. Oh, was it Wednesday or was it Tuesday? Well, last week I was about to leave, so I told you I was about to leave to the beach and stuff. And I told you it would be Sunday or Monday, which is yesterday or today. I would do my, I'd do a video yesterday. I was going to do it because it's 20 days left of college football pumped up. Still was going to do a prediction video here. And um, it was working fine. I was about to do the video and then the internet stopped working. And it, and it, I think it had to have cut back on the internet it had to have come back on we were sleeping last night so yeah I, I apologize i was actually gonna do a video yesterday hey 19 more days till the season starts september 1st now yes i know some teams start august 25th and also yes i know byu is an independent team too like notre dame is in football notre dame i'm gonna do it in the acc since they're basically an acc team because they are an acc team in basketball so here we go. Like as you know, and if you know what my schedule is, well, if you don't know and you're cool, I guess new to this channel, um, what I do is I'll tell you the record from last year, or first I'll just say the schedule, or the schedule, whatever. Um, I'll but I'll tell you last the last year's record, and then I'll tell you the schedule in order, and I'll say how the I think a year will go in order as well. Then tell you the record. What I think basically, yeah, of course, the record will be if it and it will be worse than last season's, better, or if it's gonna be the same. So, here we go for BYU. So, last year they went four and eight. What was it, four and nine? I don't know, four and eight or four and nine, something like that. I don't know why. I, I saw some that said like they went four and nine. I don't know, whatever. But here's their schedule. Start off the season at Arizona, then at home, uh, home, home, and then they'll be on home at home, yeah, home opener against Cal. As you look, see, Cal has to open the season at Cal. Fail. Because you know why we did fail against this team last year. Um, yeah, we lost thirty-five to thirty for a week. I think it was, in my opinion, it should have been something like twenty-four to thirty-five or something like that. Or was it 20? I don't know. But we scored like a last second touchdown. Not even a game. Whatever. Back to BYU. Um, then on the road at Wisconsin. And at home against McKenzie State. I don't know. And then look. Back on the road at Washington. And then the next two games will be at home against first Utah, Utah State. And then only against Hawaii. And then they're on their bye week. And then after the bye week, they'll be at home again against Northern Illinois. And then the next two games will be on the road at Boise State, then at UMass. And then the final home game of the season, like I say, senior day or senior night, depending on when the game will start. They'll be at home, the last home game of the year, New Mexico, against, yeah, New Mexico State. And then on the road, the, in the regular season, is at Utah. And then, all right. All right, here. As their schedule, I know it sounds, oh, some of the games do sound tough, but independent schedules are always tough for some reason. And I really do like their schedules a lot. And I don't know about you, but I love Notre Dame's schedule. You'll, I, I, every year, it's a great schedule. All right, BYU time. All right, so, like, well, um, here we go with my prediction. First, they'll start off the season Arizona, like I said, with an F loss 
and then a, a home opener will be a loss, and then at Wisconsin, of course, a loss. Of course, a loss. So they'll be first three games is 0 and 3, and then at home they'll get their first win of the season against McKinsey State, and then at Washington that'll be a loss for sure. I don't see them winning that game, especially against Wisconsin and Arizona, and then. The next two games at home versus Utah State, I think they'll win that, and then when in the next game at home against Hawaii, they'll beat them too. So that puts them at that puts them at three and four into the bye week. As now, uh, at home against Northern Illinois. Again, after the bye week, as I said, will be a win. So that's four and four. And at Boise State, uh, uh, Boise State games really get me. Ah, uh, oh man. Um, you know what? I know I know I tell you the schedule in order, but I'm gonna have to give that a toss up. It's so, this is for an example, toss up, it, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna skip that game and go back to it later. It's like Uncle Lou doesn't even know who he is, he's a Georgia fan, and you should go subscribe to him, um, but he does toss ups to some games. So that'll be a toss up. At UMass, I think it will be a win. Versus New Mexico State at home, I think that's a win. Ending the season at Utah is a loss. Now back to Boise State, I'm going for a loss. So overall, that four and four, they went four and five, and then five five, and then they had a winning wreck. Hold on. All right, and then look, they had a winning record, and then yeah, they lost. So yeah, they went. They're going six and six in the season. What's funny is like I have him. Oh wow, winning three games before the bye week, and then three games after the bye week. That is weird. Um, yeah, but six and six that is better than last year's record. That gets him to a bowl game possibly. Um, so yeah, BYU going for four and eight to six and six, I think. Now, into the news. I'm sorry that prediction was a little too short, but I. Like I said, got home yesterday, and it, it was a little frustrating about the internet, you know, because this, this is a show called I Like What Hell Big Brother, and that's a good show to watch. It comes on CBS on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Sundays, Wednesdays, it's 8 to 9. Thursdays, it's 9 to 10. All right. Now back, now to the news and how I am. Now, how, am I, I'm doing good back to the house. I will. Yesterday... I was excited to get home and catch up with you guys, and I hope you guys are doing well. And if in a, in the comment section, if you're doing good, you can tell me if you're doing well or not. Um, yeah, I'm doing great. And if there's any questions you want to ask me in the comment section, or if there's any teams you want me to do in the comment section. Um, that'll be great. Um, but don't forget, it can't be an SEC team because I've already done an SEC football prediction video. It can't be ACC because I'm going to be doing that later in the month anyways. And it can't be the NFL and the South teams prediction videos too. So that means you can't ask me to do the Falcons, the Panthers, you know, and the Saints and the Buccaneers. Um, now some news. There is a little bit of news I'll tell you before I go. Oh yeah, also, you know, I hope you like my haircut. Um, and if you can put it in the comment section if you like it or not. Um, I'm back to the news. There's a little bit of news. I don't say about that much. I'm trying to think. Okay. Soon, I think I know the dates when I'm going to do these. As you know, I don't know if you know this yet, but I will, I don't know if I even told you in the video yet, but Soon, I don't know when. I think I know the date from what I remember. There's my Panthers calendar right there. Oh, okay. Um, my intro for videos 
I will start doing that this Friday, which is August 17th. Um, yeah, that's when I'm doing my intro. Now, like, a, you know, I have it. I need to do, I will soon be doing, like I said before, the season starts September 1st. And yes, I know. Uh, well, the song team's playing August 25th. Basically, it starts September 1st. Um, but before, I don't even, yeah, I got the dates out for that down too. NFL, NFL, NFC South predictions in my football ACC predictions. Like I said, it'll be my final two. I know when that's going to be. First of all, how it's going to go is, and uh, it's going to happen like this. This one day I'm going to do it on the NFC South. The next day it won't be anything, at least some random video about something, I don't know what. And then the next day will be ACC football predictions. Now, here to date, August 22nd, I will be doing my NFL NFC South 2018 football predictions. And then, of course, yeah, on that 23rd, uh, uh, August 23rd, it won't be nothing. And then that 24th, the final prediction this offseason will be my 2018 ACC football predictions. And I'll be all with the predictions. And that Saturday and Sunday will be something random and that holds week will be something random and then oh wait hey that week some teams do play but that's saturday september 1st mm. and also when it gets closer to the football season probably not about friday august 31st i'll tell you how it goes with videos on college football and nfl and college basketball and nba and all that stuff because during the school year it's the most exciting times for me for sports yeah so that's about it today for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And that's all the news I got. And I will see you later.